Our story starts in 1896 in Sweden with this guy, Svanta Arrhenius, a chemist. Arrhenius is the first person to figure out that putting CO2 into the atmosphere could make the Earth warmer. But the prevailing wisdom of the time says that there is an infallible balance of nature which no human actions could ever possibly disturb, so nobody takes Arrhenius very seriously until... 1938, when an engineer named Guy Stewart Callender decides to look at global temperatures recorded over the past 50 years or so and figures out, hey, what do you know, the Earth is getting warmer. War breaks out in 1939. Ends in 1945. And as the world's economy recovers, industrial production goes into overdrive. Burning of coal and oil puts so much sulfur pollution into the atmosphere that it partially blocks the sun's rays, and the world actually gets slightly cooler over the next three decades. In the 1950s, scientists start looking more closely at the possible effects of CO2 emissions on global temperatures. For the first time, we start to realize that we could have a major problem on our hands. A few degrees rise in the Earth's temperature would melt the polar ice caps. But the Cold War is in full swing, and we have more immediate existential threats to think about, like nuclear holocaust. Duck, and then cover. In the 1960s, the cooling trend continues, and there's even some fringe speculation that we could be heading for a new ice age. That all changes in the mid-70s when temperatures start going up again. The phrase global warming makes its first appearance in a 1975 research paper. Temperatures keep rising throughout the 80s, and 1988 is the hottest year ever recorded to that point. This gets people's attention, and global warming starts to enter mainstream public awareness for the first time. Human activities are changing the atmosphere. We face a global environmental crisis. The global threat of climate change. Yes, that's Margaret Thatcher, one of the first world leaders to speak out about climate change. Interesting, right? Anyway, in 1995, an international group of scientists issues the first public statement that there is a discernible human influence on global climate. In 2001, they predict that 21st century warming will leave the 20th century in the dust. Over the next decade, some of the anticipated effects of global warming start happening. Things like rising oceans, intense droughts and heat waves, and powerful storms. The 15 hottest years in history have all occurred since 1998, and 2015 is on track to be the hottest year ever recorded. So what does the future hold? If we curb CO2 emissions, temperatures could rise as little as 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit by 2099. That would be manageable. If we don't, temperatures could rise more than 8 degrees, which would mean massive food shortages, widespread extinctions, and a redrawing of the world's coastlines. The story of global warming will end with a changed climate. That's inevitable at this point. How much it will change remains to be seen.